Back again. It's round one of the 47th Beale Chess Festival. It's between Hao Yifan from China, current women's world champion is white, and Anish Giri from the Netherlands is black. Anish is getting up there. He's rated 27.50. He's got to be in the top 25 in the world, and pretty young guy. Anyway, let's get to it. It's going to be in Moscow, Sicilian. Hu Yifan is white, Anishkiri is black. We pretty much seen this a number of times. This is Sicilian. I, I'm stopping my E4 play. It's just too many Sicilians for me. I just don't care for it as white. But this variation is interesting. After C takes, Queen takes, instead of Knight, A6, Bishop comes back, Knight. And white castles. Now, I kind of like this setup. Both the white's bishops have a lot of scope. Black is very behind in development, but that's common in the early moves in the Sicilian. We'll see how this works out for Anish. I'm sure both of these players have played this a million times. E5, queen. Not real thrilled about the queen there, even though the computer does call for it. D5, I really don't care for it that much because of the fact that this bishop now can't get out as easily. E takes, computer calls for knight takes, but bishop C5 is a good move as well. It's, it gains a tempo. If knight had taken, queen to E4, knight, queen to H4. After bishop c5, the queen has to move. And there we go again, blocking in the dark squared bishop. And then black castles. Now it shows over at a point advantage for white, but frankly, I don't see it. Yeah, granted, black's a little behind development and pretty much caught up. White's got two minor pieces undeveloped, and the bishop can't get out. So I don't see where it's an that much of an advantage for white, but then again, I'm not a computer. C4, logical move, reinforcing the D5 pawn. E4. Computer also calls for E4 as well. Knight to D4. Knight to E5. Interesting. What to do, what to do. Knight to B3 is called for by the computer. Followed by Knight B4 instead. B4 kicking the bishop. Bishop comes back. Knight c3. Now I do like white's position. Look at those advanced pawns on the queen side. Look at all the center control. Now I like white. Much different than before. Those pawns are, are just brutal coming down the center of the board. Bishop g4. Try to trade off some pieces. c5. a5. Trying to break that up. A3, stopping it. Knight takes the pawn. Knight takes bishop b8. Now, white is up a pawn. It looks tough for Gary on the queen side. Now, look at this. This is really unusual. You hardly ever see this. Right in the center of the board. Look at these knights. How weird is that? F3, kicking the bishop. I like the F4 now. That move is interesting, to say the least. Knight to D6. Give you an idea if white had taken the bishop. Queen takes check. Queen takes. Knight takes E2 check. King H1, knight takes. Black wins a piece. That's why he can't take the bishop. Knight to d6. Bishop takes. To c takes. Not as good as f takes again because of the same scenario. Bishop b7 this time. C takes. Knight takes. Queen takes, 
queen takes. White's got a hell of an advantage here. Now the computer shows it as two point, almost two and a half points. I gotta tell you right now, Gary's in a tough spot. It's just collapsing. White to move. Knight to b5, hitting the queen. Now, if f had taken, queen takes check. We've seen this scenario. Bishop, queen takes g4. And black's ahead. Obviously, Hugh Yifan, women's world champion, reads this position very well. Knight goes there, hitting the queen, also being guarded by its own queen. Queen to f6. Now pawn takes. Knight to f3 check. Queen takes. Worth looking at was rook takes, because after queen takes a1, rook to f1, rook 88. It's still a huge advantage. Two pieces for the rook. I like queen takes better myself. Queen takes a1, bishop e3, hitting the queen. Discover attack on the queen. Queen to f6. Queen takes, g takes. Now, all of us, I think, in a snap would play rook takes pawn. You see, when you see a good move, look for a better one. And the better one is knight to c7. After rook attacks, knight to d5. And that's where Anish Gary said that's enough. Great game. Many things right here to look at. This, this check is in the wind. Give you an idea. If Rook had gone to c2, Bishop ta or pawn takes, and it's just everywhere. This pawn's in pre. I mean, it's just it's just doomed. This bishop's gonna come here and then here. I, it's just it's just miserable for Anish. So he just gave it up. Tough break in round one for Anish. Hats off to Hu Yi Fan from China. Good game. Anish just collapsed. Well, everyone, that's the video from round one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please, everyone, if you would, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. And if you could click the like button as well, that would be great. And I want you all to remember, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. Hello. I'd like to order french fries, a burger, and a milkshake. This is a library. I'd like to order french fries, a burger, and a milkshake. Mm.